Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another video on For the Love of Email. I'm Tejas, Senior Product Evangelist at Netco Cloud. Now that 2021 is coming to an end, uh, today we are going to discuss the email marketing trends for 2022. We'll decode five email marketing trends for the next year to help you to stay ahead of the curve. So let's get into it. Now, number one is that interactive storytelling and gamification will matter more than the tech itself. Now, in 2022, marketers will have to focus on engaging their customers with amazing stories and narratives that offer solutions to their problems and make the emails entertaining at the same time. Now, due to the recent Apple's mail privacy protection regulations, email marketers will already be focusing on other performance metrics like clicks, conversions, replies to gauge customer intent. Now, all of these count. Email senders will have to go beyond the interactive technology itself, like say AMP for emails, and stress more on good storytelling. And your story should resonate with your audience and compel them to enjoy your emails. So for doing this, you may or may not use interactive tech necessarily. So the marketers who can view great product stories will win big in 2022. Second, user privacy will be the new normal for mailbox providers as well as marketers. Now in recent years, data and user privacy has become such a hot topic among users as well as mailbox providers. I mean, it was only a matter of time where a big mailbox provider like Apple Mail, uh, you know, decided to block pixel opens and safeguard uh, the user privacy. But what does this new normal of user privacy actually mean for marketers? Now in 2022, you will have to go above and beyond the basic data privacy laws like GDPR, CCPA, can spam CSL to gain the trust of your subscribers. Now you have to also follow regional data guidelines in order to avoid getting penalized. So communicate how well you follow all of these data guidelines and protect your consumer data with your users. And if you demonstrate good business ethics, that will ensure loyalty and trust among your consumers. The third one, long-term customer loyalty will matter more than any quick short-term gains. Now, the pandemic has had a very disruptive effect on customer retention and loyalty. We have all seen that. Customer lifetime value, the CLE, has become a North Star matrix for some marketers, especially in the e-commerce sector. Now, research by Gartner says that almost 39% of global CMOs plan to increase the sales of the existing products to their current customers. So retaining your high value customers uh, for the longer term will be a big aim for every marketer in 2022. Now, people who will become your best consumers five years later would matter as much as they already are. So if an existing customer, say, spends $500 per month at your store, uh, what's the potential for that customer to spend $20,000, say, in the next two years? Now, these are going to be the kind of questions that you know marketers will look to solve with the help of big data and machine learning in the upcoming year. Implementing loyalty programs and communicating them through emails constantly with the customers will provide them a better brand experience, uh, customer service, and will inspire loyalty. And no wonder that, you know, that's the reason I think the loyalty programs will be on top of the mind for most marketers in the upcoming year. Number four, innovative strategies will evolve for collecting zero-party data. Now you must be thinking, what zero-party data? Well, zero-party data is defined as the data that a customer intentionally and proactively shares with a brand. You know, that can be 
uh, you know, a preferential center that you have, that the data that you get from it, uh, you know, purchase intentions, it could be personal context, and how the individual wants the brand to recognize them. So with zero-party data, marketers can access really valuable customer data, which has been comfortably given by the customers themselves, that they might lose with Apple's MPP changes because there won't be any engagement or um, email interaction data available anymore. So living in a post-privacy world uh, you know, and data privacy becoming stricter day by day, marketers will have to come up with innovative solutions for collecting this original customer data. Zero-party data sources are like website and newsletter preference centers. There are email surveys that you can do, quizzes, social media posts, uh, or polls, and you know those can really help engage customers meaningfully and build bonds with them. So you'll have to come up with the right zero-party data collection approach, and you know that will enable your customers to share their personal information very comfortably uh, with with your brand, and it will enable you to send relevant offers and benefits, you know, that are very customized and personal to them. Last one, number five, marketers will have to embrace AI tools to create experience-driven email programs. Under the use of AI and email marketing, you know, uh, it has been, uh, the evolution has been there for the past few years now, uh, where AI has revolutionized email marketing. And uh, it has reduced the workload of marketers. It offers great insights to boost revenue uh, you know, optimize content, reduce costs, enhance your deliverability. Uh, now, uh, our latest email benchmark report of 2020, where we studied 50 billion emails, showed that AI tools led to a 50% jump in deliverability among our global clients. I mean, that's huge. So, for instance, an AI tool like Netco's Raman can look at your historical campaigns in order to craft engaging subject lines based on recipients high response rates. It can personalize content uh, for each individual in your mailing list based on their past interaction data. It can manage list segmentation uh, to target users with relevant content and really impactful content. It can reduce churn by identifying at-risk customers uh, and, you know, and suggest ways to retain them. It can optimize delivery times of your emails to get higher engagement and conversions. Finally, it can also structure data according to propensity models and the browsing activity of your customers on your website. So I think in 2022, AI will be the differentiator between satisfactory and extraordinary email results. So you will do well to adopt AI technologies uh, in your email marketing to anticipate, plan, and satisfy your one-to-one -one customer needs. Now, as a marketer, your need for intelligent, uh, experience-driven needs is all set to become really crucial the next year, and AI will help you with that. So these are some of the email marketing trends uh, that we think you will do well to anticipate and plan for in the coming year. Uh, in order to improve your email programs and increase your ROI, hit all your marketing KPIs. Uh, we suggest you also test different strategies to know what works best for you. And our AI assistant, Brahman, uh, can help with this intelligent insights to do the same for you. Now, Netco's AI-bound email delivery has emerged as a proven competitive advantage for marketers of several leading global brands today. If you would like to join them, to book a demo with us, learn more about our network cloud MarTech stack and our cloud platform on what they can do to skyrocket your email marketing ROI on our website, netcocloud.com. We have also released an Email Trends 2022 report which details further email marketing trends, uh, which are extra, and uh, that will help you to plan for the coming year as well. Uh, the link to that report will be in the description notes below. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in and hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Follow our emails. 
and uh, in order to get such amazing content from email and email marketing insights from our experts. Till then, this is Tejas, signing off. Thank you.